Welcome to Quidgley Town Wildlife Episode 6. In this episode we get to meet some of the local bird life. Here we have a small bird about the size of a robin called a denik. Very similar in appearance to a robin but without a red breast. A black bird has now entered the clearing to feed. This black bird is a male black bird as black in color with a yellow bill. Whereas a female black bird is brown in color. The black bird is one of Britain's most common songbirds. Their diet consists of worms, insects and berries. Occasionally visiting garden bird tables especially during the colder months. Blackbirds can often be seen foraging underneath trees and shrubs. Flicking the leaves over to hunt for food. Female blackbirds are usually the ones that build the nest. They construct the nest from twigs, dried grass and moss, lined with mud. The female lays around two to three eggs which she incubates for around two weeks. The baby blackbirds leave the nest after another two weeks, but remain nearby for the parents to feed them for a further three weeks before fledging. A dinner or hedge sparrow is feeding in the clearing. This is another British songbird. Both the male and female dinner build their nest in a hedge or bush. Using twigs, moss and plant stems, they line the nest with hair and wool. The female lays between three to six eggs and incubates them for around two weeks. The young dinocks are fed by the parents and fledge after another two weeks. The parent birds can have up to three clutched of eggs per year. Dinocks are often victims to the cuckoo bird, which will lay its own eggs in their nest and kick out the dunnocks eggs. The dinocks will end up fostering the cuckoo chicks unknown to them as their own. Here is another woodland bird a song thrush. Here is the blackbird back again.
Now the dinner returns. Look what's that. Behind the dinner kit's a great tit. See you in the next episode.